Hi, my name is Bene and in this video I would like to introduce to you the new and most comprehensive GEVA G9 update so far. The update consists of three parts, the firmware, the trigger bank and the sound bank. You can find all the installation files as a download on gevadrums.com in the service section. Please note that a complete installation process takes about one hour. Please unzip the zip directory. You will find the following folders. Firmware, trigger bank, sound bank. Please install the firmware first. Copy all files from the firmware folder to the root directory of a USB stick. Plug the USB stick into your GEVA G9 and start the device. The firmware should be detected and installed automatically. After successful installation, open the menu General Settings. In the Information tab, you should see the firmware version 1.1.40. Next, please install the trigger bank. Copy all files from the trigger bank folder into the root directory of your USB stick. If you use the same USB stick, please delete the firmware files first. Now insert the USB stick into the device and start a G9. In the menu General Settings, you will see a button called Trigger Bank Update. Press this button to install the new trigger bank. This should be very fast and should be done within seconds. Then go to the device tab and make sure that auto power off is set to off. This is important for installing the sound bank file because this will take a while. Now delete all files from your USB stick and copy the files from the Soundbank download folder to the root directory of your USB stick. Insert the USB stick into your module and restart the device. In the menu General Settings under Update, you should see a button Soundbank Update. Press this button to install the new Soundbank. The installation of the sound bank takes about 15 minutes. After restarting the device, the following software versions should be installed. We recommend doing a factory reset after the update. However, this is not a must. To activate the new trigger settings, you have to reload the perspective trigger preset. What are the new features? The most obvious new feature is the G9 Setup Wizard. This helps you with the first steps when setting up your G9 module. Let's take a closer look. After starting the GEVA G9, a pop-up window appears to the initial setup. By clicking Next, we get to the trigger setting selection. Here we can select our kit configuration and the module automatically loads the correct settings. Next, we calibrate the hi-hat and follow the instructions. We can deactivate the auto-off function directly here. Now the G9 is set up and ready to play. Besides the setup wizard, a lot has happened under the hood. 
For example, we have edited the entire sample blades to achieve an even more dynamic and realistic sound. In this context, we have also adjusted all trigger presets as well as the trigger engine. The drum kit presets have also been completely updated. Among these things, we have replaced sounds and even added new ones. The probably most important feature here are the 5 new subkick mic samples and the 7 snare bottom sounds. They are now included and in the sound bank by default. You can easily add them to your instrument via the second sound function to create even more realistic sounds. In addition to this extensive sound and trigger adjustments, we have also made general performance optimizations. For example, the touchscreen now responds much more fluidly. You can see this especially in the drum kit and sound selection windows. The sound engine, in particular polyphony management, has also been optimized. This means that the G9 can now play even more sounds at the same time. In the past, cymbal sounds would stop sometimes when played very fast. This problem is now solved. The list of trigger presets has also been expanded. For example, RT30, BT1 and also various A-drum symbols have been added. So you have maximum flexibility and can now use almost all popular pads on the market with your G9. The new update is available now and can be downloaded at gebadrums.com in the service section.